Hey Internet, how's it going? This is John Hammond, uh, showcasing more of the Google Capture the Flag competition that happened just recently this past weekend. Uh, before we dive into some of more of the Beginner's Quest challenges, one another shout out to Live Overflow. Super cool guy, does a lot of awesome YouTube stuff, uh, and we work together a little bit for this Capture the Flag competition. Hopefully we'll do more. I uh, really appreciate him, and uh, you should check out some of his content. So let's dive in. Um, Moving to some of the Beginner's Quest challenges, um, this is one of the later miscellaneous ones as you move along through the uh, top northern paths, I guess. Uh, I guess. I guess. <laughs> this challenge is called Security by Obscurity. Reading the content the screenshot you found, some guy named John created the firmware for off a router, sorted on iDrop drive cloud share, you fetch it, and the John packed firmware with an unknown key. Can you recover the package key? Sure. Um, let's download this and create it in a new folder, in our CTF folder, security by obscurity. As I type that, save, cool. Let's get a command line open and see what we can work with. Move into that directory, security by obscurity. It is a zip file, as with most everything that we've been seeing so far. So let's create it, uh, security.zip, cool. Let's unzip it. Oh, and we have a thing here. Uh, long file name, password.x.abc, blah, 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 with periods in between it. So what is that? Oh, it's another zip archive. Okay. So um, this gets to be an issue <laughs> um, because uh, I'll show you if we make this a new zip archive and we try to unzip that password one, it inflates another long password thing um, and you'll wonder what this is and of course it's another zip archive so we have lots of nested recursive uh, zip archives so what I did in this case when I was going through this challenge was I actually moved the original zip archive to a original dot capital zip file extension so if I wanted to I could still unzip it just fine but I wanted to use a lowercase zip extension uh, to note what I'm really working with here because I wanted to do this in in a in a uh, automated way I wanted to write a script so I didn't have to do this by hand so what I did after I remove password and I, I'll remove the original one as well so I if I were to unzip original dot zip I have this thing so Let's try to write a script now. Whoa, I just deleted what I wanted all along. I'm a fool. Okay, let's re-download this thing and get back to where we were. Let's write our script now. Nano, I'm going to call this ape.sh, bin bash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip um, original.zip. Let's do that quiet. And let's wow read. Actually, let's cat everything. Or ls, sorry. ls everything that's not a capital zip. So if I were to run this, we can see we get. Uh, and let's actually remove the script in here. Let's filter out the zip, the script as well. grep tech v ape.sh. So we're just getting what we what we uh, extract. Let's do a while read line on this, so I can work with that file. And let's move that line to a line dot zip. Good. And let's unzip that zip where we were. And let's see how far we go, I guess. We actually don't even want anything that has a zip extension in it because if we're just getting the most recent the most recent zip archive, uh, let's actually grip tag V for regular zip files. Now let's try it. Unzip. That happened just fine. Ape ship again. 
Okay, now we're just doing this over and over again. We're not actually while looping. Let's modify our script. Let's do a while true. While true, or while one, let's do this over and over and over again. Let's ls for things that aren't zips, and then let's try it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, looks like it starts to break at some point. Now we've got a ton of stuff, but let's see how big they are. So the smallest one down here. I used lstacl to see the size here, because this, this number determines the bytes or how big the file is. So let's see why it broke. And that says, running file on it, that's because it's not a zip archive now. It's an XZ compressed data. So let's move him to um, new.xz. And let's remove all of the old zip files that we were working with. So if I nano my script, we can get back in here and we can comment out what we were doing to begin with. Let's unxz original dot or hmm because what if we what is actually this thing new to dxe oh just new it'll remove the file extension, but of course it's still another recursively compressed archive. So modifying our script, we can unxz or move new.xz and then unxz that new.xz. So over and over and over again, we will be extracting this. Oh, move new to new.xz. So it gives it the file extension, then an XZ can actually extract it. And it breaks because, oh, we have password here again. Okay, it's going to keep its file, is that right? Oh, now we have bzip to compress data. So what is this thing? I don't know where that is. Let's, let's move new to new.bz2. Let's change our script to now move to comment this stuff out. Create a new segment for that. Let's move new.bz2 and bunzip to um, so move the new without an extension to new with an extension and then bunzip that bz2 with an extension. So we're putting the extension back on after we've extracted it. If I, because if I were to bunzip this one new.bz2, it's just going to be new without the extension. But as we are finding out, we have bzip2 compressed data. So let's run our script. It extracts it out. Um, now we have new.bz2, and that's now gzip data. Okay, <laughs> this is getting kind of old, but at least it's not too, too difficult to work with. Let's move new to new.gunzip, or gzip, and let's gunzip new.gz. Let's gunzip new. We have to move it to begin with, so it has the correct file name. Run ape. Now what do we have? Now we have a regular zip archive. Let's move that to new.zip. Let's try and unzip that. Oh, and we have password.txt, and it's asking for a password. Huh. Okay. Um, let's try and run fcrackzip. Let me get a dictionary file. rocku.txt. I know I have a copy of it somewhere on my file system, probably. Okay, put it in our directory. We can remove the giant password one because that's not important. Um, and now let's fcrack zip. If you don't have fcrack zip, you can sudo apt install it if you need to. Um, tack d for dictionary. Looks like 
and just the file. Is that all? F crack zip tag D for rock you and then new dot zip. Do we need to tag P there? Okay, yeah. Whoa. It thought everything worked. That's not how to do it. I got to admit, I literally always forget how to use F crack zip. I'll be completely honest with you. It's one of those things, you know, like tar. <laughs> okay, here's an example. Tack V. Tack U. Why does it... What do we need the tack U for? I'm sorry, you guys shouldn't have to watch this. <laughs> this is not interesting. Use unzip. Try to decompress. Okay. This weeds out false positives. Okay, sweet. Now, ASDF. That looks like the password here. Unzip new.zip. ASDF as a password. Now we have a new file, password.txt, and we have our flag. Hell yeah. CTF compression is not encryption. Perfect. Let's actually move that to flag.txt. And I'm not going to write a get flag script for this, but <laughs> we kind of have one in that ape.sh thing that we were working with, but it's not particularly very good. Um, let's submit the flag here and mark this challenge as complete so thank you guys for watching um i know this one was kind of cheesy because we were just modifying a script rather than getting a very elegant one and done thing but hey that showcases the process that showcases what we were doing because who knows how many times that was recursively uh encrypted not not encrypted i'm sorry but compressed or put into another archive so thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying these. Um, another shout out to Live Overflow. Check out his material if you haven't seen it before. Uh, hopefully we'll do more cybersecurity capture flag stuff again soon together. Um, if you did like the video, press that button. Leave a like. Uh, if you're willing to leave me a comment, let me know what you think. What else you'd like to see, please do. Uh, if you're willing to subscribe, I'd love that. Thanks again. See you soon.